not me giving Selena's. It's giving anything for Selena's. It's giving como la flor. Cuando do, me dice tú, yo me quiere, yo quiero taco de. Ay, quiere me dice. Ay, quiere me dice. Bitch, it's giving me it's giving me high, it me dice. You know what? Y'all don't deserve me. Not me being consistent <laughs> during Black Women's Dragon Month. <laughs> to it as house 613 blonde wigs did y'all realize that there was such like there was a huge shortage of blonde wigs during the panoramic and i am convinced the reason for that was because they was all in westeros the targaryens had bought all the 613 wigs and all the wigs was in motherfucking westeros which is why a bitch could not find a blonde wig to save her fucking life okay but House 613, can, can we say this before we even, I have so much housekeeping to do because I'm late, this is episode 7, so let's do a little bit of housekeeping and then we're going to get into the, uh, we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of the episode. Um, House of Dragons is giving Game of Thrones a run for its money. I, like, honestly, this first season, <clears throat> was it's it's way better than the first season of game of thrones so it's like in each episode is getting better and better i'm like god damn like okay like did the production change i know the the, the showrunners change i thought like they did so shout out kudos to everybody who's doing what the fuck they supposed to be doing y'all niggas is doing that like house 613 um these dragon niggas these nigga t these uh nigga garians like it, I, I am feeling it to the 10th degree. My only thing is, in the first couple episodes, the wigs were very questionable for the Niggagarians. I was not here, for, especially for the children Niggagarians. I wasn't here for it. Um, I remember, um, she, uh, Lenar, when she was 12 and they was trying to get her to marry Viserys and she was struggling for her life. I will give you 16. I will give you many kids and we could join our house. And we could be, become strong for us. And, you know, we could bring back over Leary. That girl was struggling for her life. And that wig was barely holding on. I could not deal with that shit. So, thank God, as more episodes are coming in, the nigga Gary and wigs are getting better and better. I really do appreciate that. Um, Let's get to it. So a little bit more housekeeping. Is it me or... In the first episode, when Rhaenerys and Alicent was um, sitting by the tree, did y'all get some scissor vibes? Because I did. I got scissoring vibes. So when shit started going south between them, I was like, what? Because I really got scissoring vibes from them. Um, and then when, um, what the fuck is um, Alessandra daddy name. Hold on, let me get all the cast members because you know what? It's so many of them and I don't I don't understand all these Valyrian names. So hold on. House of Dragons. Cass. <laughs> I don't know what Alessandra daddy name is, but basically he the hand of the king, right? Um he he for the hand of the king, he sure showed his hand immediately, didn't he? Like as soon as Ama died, he was like, bitch, we in this bitch. We in this bitch. Put your mama dress on. I want you to go ahead and in that room, pull your dead mama best dress, and go ahead and twerk for the king. Like, you know what to do. You know what to do. I want to be your wife. I want to be your wife. Like, it just was like he knew exactly what he wanted. He always wanted the throne, okay? 
And really quickly, Alison obliged his ass. So, um, and then when we see how Alison was able to get with Viserys behind Rhaenerys, that's when shit just started tumbling down. Like, <clears throat> what the fuck is going on? Like, when, when they had that family meeting, and Viserys was like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I won't be marrying um, anybody from the Valyrian side. Um, and that made Corlys very upset. Because, you know what I'm saying? He was like, finally, we could get one of the niggas in the throne. Like, we could finally get a nigga, a nigga Garion to the motherfucking throne. His dreams was crushed. Um, he's like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to marry um, Alassane. That shit called, that shit caught Rhaenerys by surprise. She was a friend of mine. She took what I had. Like, that's... Imagine playing patty cake with a bitch and the whole time she playing patty cake with your daddy dick behind closed doors. I'm done. Um, so, I feel like ever since then, shit just been tumbling down. Um, you know one thing about these dragon shows, these dragon niggas, um, they really be having me rooting for incest. And... That really, like, not, like, after I be watching these dragon shows and shit, I gotta talk to the Lord and, like, just make sure I'm still right with God because I would never do any of this shit that I see going on in the show. But I'm here for the Targaryen incest because I really want the Targaryens to stay where they're supposed to stay. But we know ultimately the story, but whatever. We just gonna stay in the present times. So, I was always here for Damon and Ray Ray. Um, you know, we know Damon's story. We know he ain't shit. Um... <laughs> He ain't shit, but he is. Like, remember when he had defeated um, the lobster nigga by himself? Oh, was it lobsters or was it crabs? The crab nigga by himself. Um, no army. <laughs> Solo. Dolo. Um, remember when he had fake pump, like he was going to hunch Renera, and Renera was so hot in the draws that she fucked Sir, uh, what's his name? Sir uh, Christian. Fuck that man so good to the point where that man was like, listen, I will leave everything I have. I will leave everything I have. Let's go ahead and go out east. Let's go far east. You know what I'm saying? And I will make you my wife. And Renee was like, um, you think I'm about to give up the throne? <laughs> For somebody on the motherfucking, what was he? Is he on the night watch? Whatever the fuck. You think I'm about to give up the throne for you? Nah. I'm going to keep the throne, but you can be my side bitch. <laughs> not even side nigga. It's like the way she talked to that man, it was like, you can be my side bitch. And that nigga has not recovered. Sir Criston. Sir Criston has not made a recovery since then. We see how now he all up in Ray Ray face. And it's so funny because... Um, when the rumor was going around that, um, Ray Ray and her uncle, her, when the rumor was going around that Ray Ray and her uncle had hunched, even though they didn't hunch, they had almost hunched, but they didn't hunch. Her coochie was so hot. Uh, she was just hot, hot pocket. Uh, she, so hot. She had to have Sir Criston put out the flames. Um, when the, the rumors was going around that they was down to a brothel hunching and they never hunched. Um, and then... Rainier, uh, what you call it, Alison felt like she had to get down to the bottom of the truth, which is, for me, was like, for what? Like, how does that affect you? How does that affect you? Can you focus on your monkey pox husband? Like, how does that affect you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you doing too much. Um, so then she had called Sir Criston into the room, and before he, before she could even ask him, have you known, he was like, huh? He was singing like a motherfucking canary. I, I fucked her. I fucked her. Like, before she could even ask the question, I fucked her. We hunched. We hunched. We hunched down in the dragon basements. We hunched. Like, that's when I lost all respect for this motherfucker. Uh, and remember, he almost killed himself. I was like, well, I saw him trying to kill himself. I was like, yeah, go ahead and kill yourself. Because you talk too damn much. And then, of course, Ray Ray saved him because now she could use him for her advantage. But anyway, fast forward, you know what I'm saying? Um, Viserys told Ray Ray, listen, it's a lot of commotion in the motherfucking kingdom. 
I need you to get married. Like, you know what I'm saying? And Ray was like, well, damn, like, why? Because, bitch, you the next in line. Like, he done told the kingdom, you the next in line. Ain't never been a female at the throne. The kingdom already split in two because they don't want no fucking estrogen on the motherfucking throne. Like, you know what I'm saying? We done lost your mama while she was giving birth. Viserys been ain't shit since, you know what, I saw how weak Viserys was since day motherfucking one when Emma was giving, when Emma was giving birth to that last child, and, and he was like, yeah, just get the baby out of it, like, what, which is why I'm not mad at Laenar, you know, I'm going ahead of myself, but Laenar in episode six, when she, when they told her, listen, the baby is not moving, it's either you, it's either her or the baby, she was not going to have Damon ass make that decision for herself. And HBO and, and Game of Thrones and them, they knew better not to have a white man, <laughs> a white man be, make that type of decision and have a black women's die in y'all little dragon show during Black Women's Dragons Month. Oh, they knew better than that. Oh, they, oh, they knew better than that. Not during Black Women's Dragons Month. <laughs> no. So, um, I knew Viserys was weak since then. But anyway, so Viserys was like, listen, uh, he talked to Corliss. They was like, okay, we're going to join the houses or whatever. And then now, um, Rhaenerys had to marry um, her auntie's gay ass son, um, her cousin, Lenor, who we all knew was gay, just gay, <laughs> flaming hot Cheetos, just gay, okay, um, and, but she was like, even before they, um, was it before they got married, or what, she was like, listen, bruh, you know the deal, I know the deal, I know you gay, you know I'm a hoe, okay, so let's just do our duty, pop out these kids, so we could reign on the motherfucking throne and that's that. And they had that understanding and I love that for them. The problem is, the only trouble is, them kids don't belong to him. Them kids don't belong to him, Ray Ray. You was out there having sex. You was having S-E-X. Um, with, what's, um, who she was having sex with? Uh, Strong. The strong, the strong man. And oh my God, he looked like he got that strong dick too. Ray Ray was down there having all that strong dick. that had all them bastard children. And it's, it's crazy because <laughs> literally, every, literally every one of her sons came out looking exactly like, 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 exactly like Brother Strong. Like, <laughs> come on now. First of all, nigga Gary and kids have a look. They look like me, but with a blonde platinum wig. Period. Like that. They look like me, but with a Daenerys wig. So when them kids came out Caucasian as hell with brown hair, like Ray Ray, come on now. Like, okay, be for real. Be for fucking real. And then Viserys, come be for fucking real. Like, can can we please be for fucking real? Like, I feel like in that sense, I do get um why Alison be mad. Cause it's like her kids are not next in line for the throne, but hit, but brother Strong's children are. We we just gonna add like we don't know that them kids belong to brother Strong. That's what we doing. We gonna add like we don't know that them kids that we we gonna act like we don't see that clearly these kids are not nigga Garians. That's what we gonna do. Like she's fed up, so I get it. But bitch, the king says so. If the king say something, that's what the fuck it is. And you need to learn your place, earn your spot. Earn your spot, learn your motherfucking place. Your daddy done got to your head. So it was fucked up how she had had um, Rhaenyra's side nigga burn to hell and his daddy. Because remember, um, her dad, um, Ray Rhaenyra's daddy had fired Allison's daddy from being the hand of king because he knew the date that her daddy and whatever niggas he had on his side was spreading a rumor about her daughter. Okay, so then what they did, they had them niggas burn to a Chris. They had a, a brother Strong and his daddy burn to a motherfucking Chris. So now the so now the Strong boys are really bastards because now they ain't got no daddy. I ain't had no daddy when I was growing up. Uh, that's why I'm why I'm now. <laughs> now they really now they really bastards. Like what is going on? Um. So okay, so where am I? Where am I? 
where my hold on, let me gather my thoughts. Let me gather my thoughts. This reminds me of how, like, in Game of Thrones, everybody knew Joffrey did not belong to a uh, Baratheon. Joffrey was not a fucking Baratheon. Everybody knew that motherfucker was a Lannister. But did they challenge it though? Did they challenge it? No. No. The Lannisters said what the fuck they said. And if you challenge the Lannisters, they gon' they gonna send they what? They gonna send they what? They regards. During Black Women's Dragon Month. Period. Um, so let's just get into this episode. And we're gonna get to the nitty-gritty. Bitch. First of all, in the past episode, you had Lainar um, have Vagar kill her. First of all, is it... How is it that Game of Thrones or House of Dragons, House 613, how is it that they keep achieving these what the fuck moments? Because for me, that was a what the fuck. Like, I was not expecting that at all. Like, I was like... Because, like, when she said... When they told her the baby was not moving, I was like, oh shit, all right, there you go, here we go. You know, and Damon, what I liked about Damon though, Damon was like, damn, like, what do we do? Like, there's nothing you could do. He wasn't like Viserys puss ass. He wasn't like Viserys puss ass, oh soft ass. He wasn't like that. He was very like, he had a lot of paws. But Lenar, she was like, bitch, I'm not gonna go out like that. And before Damon could do everything, she was down to motherfucking Vagar's, um, uh, whatever resting site and she was like Dracarys Vega was like girl what Dracarys bitch this baby ain't coming out Dracarys you know what to do and Vega was like bro Not the nigga Gary no nigga Gary in violence. Like, we don't do that during Black Women's Dragon Month. We don't do that. And Lenar was like, girl, she gave that last Dracarys. And bitch, Vagar really burned her to a motherfucking Chris. She was barbecued. And by the time Damon got to her, she was flaming hot. Like a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Um... I couldn't believe that shit. That was a what the fuck moment for me. But I was like, you know what? Leave it to the black women's. One thing about black women's. One thing about black women's. We gonna be on our fuck it, I'll do it myself shit. Fuck it, I'll do it. Fuck it, I ain't gonna have y'all split me open and kill me and my baby. Fuck it, I'll kill the both of us. Let me go ahead and down there to Vagar and have her handle this shit real quick. We gonna make it quick. I ain't got time for y'all to be slicing and dicing me like y'all did Ama in episode one. Okay? So, um, so now we at the funeral. We open up with the funeral or whatever. Um, you know what I'm saying? Lenore, who's her brother, who is, um, Ray Ray's husband, who is gay, um, and who is not the father of her children. Maury said, you are not the father. He know he ain't the father. Everybody know he ain't the father. So anyway, so he down to the water, like, he waiting in the water. Like, he don't know what to fucking do with himself. His sister done left. Like, this is a, a hard time for him. They had the fume. Um, Aegon is getting pissy fucking drunk. Um, which is why you had the head of the king. You had, um, you had, what's her name? Daddy, like, nigga, like, he kicked him. Like, yo, like, get your drunk, drunk ass up. You next in line, bitch. Like, I want this motherfucking phone. Uh, you got, um, Alessand, daddy. He back in business. He back being the hand of the king. Um, what else is going on at the funeral? Ray Ray and Damon, they giving each other them, they, they giving each other the puppy dog eyes. You know what's crazy? It was like, Alison really thought she ate that. <laughs> she really thought she ate that when she had Brother Strong and his daddy died. She was like, you know what? I'm going to get rid of her side nigga and I'm going to get my daddy his job back. But bitch, what you did was, <laughs> you set the Targaryens up for what was, what was what they really wanted the entire motherfucking time. The entire motherfucking time. Damon didn't want to be with Lenar. You know what I'm saying? He did it for the good of the kingdom. But he didn't want to be with her. And one thing about Damon, is it Damon, Damon will lose a wife. <laughs> Damon will lose a wife, bitch. Okay, so girl, Damon didn't want to be with Lenar. And Ray never got a gay ass husband. She didn't want to be with his ass either. And like she was telling Damon, child, we been fucking and we we even tried to fuck and nothing was coming out. I was like, oh my God, so they been fucking? Like, he, she was like, yeah, like, she told Damon, we try to do our duty, but that nigga would not come inside me. Like, that nigga is gayer 
than a motherfucking pink starburst, okay? <laughs> that nigga will not bust in me for nothing. But he'll bust for Quora, though. So, so anyway, fast forward or whatever. Um, a lot of shit went down, but let's just get to, down to the nitty gritty. Um, Damon and Rhaenyra, they down by the desert somewhere. They fucking, you know what I'm saying? They find, they realize they could finally be together. Rhaenyra's like, listen, I done, I, done, I told you down to my, my wedding with Lenore. Take me down to motherfucking Dragonstone, make me your wife, and we can sit on the motherfucking throne together. Like, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, come take this pussy. Come take this Targaryen pussy. And let's go ahead and just wrap this shit up so we can take over the motherfucking Westeros. What's good? What's good? And Damon was very hesitant. You know, he didn't know if he, could, he, he should put that uncle dick on her. But she's like, listen, like, I may be young, but I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and slide that dick in me. Let's go ahead and just make this shit pop off. You know what I'm saying? So they having um, uncle niece sex. Um, then you got um, Amon, which is... Alessandra's younger son, you know, remember in the past episodes, everybody was getting their dragon, everybody was training their dragon, and his older brother bought him a pig. He's like, yeah, you ain't got no dragon, but here, here go your dragon, bitch. Bought him a warthog. <laughs> when I was a young warthog. Okay, bought him a warthog and was like, yeah, that's your that's your dragon. So he was like, nah, you know what? While everybody sleep, I'm gonna I'm gonna claim me a motherfucking dragon. Mind you, Vagar was supposed to be for one of Lenar's daughters, but he was like, nah, them bitches sleep, them bitches sleep, I'm gonna claim this motherfucking dragon. He gets on top of Vagar, Vagar almost barbecued his ass, but he was able to ride that bitch, and guess what? Now he a dragon rider now. Now he a dragon rider now. So, um, Amon got a whole, I'm talking about he 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 talking different. He walking different, like everything different. His body different, you know what I'm saying? Um, mind you, while he was uh, riding Vagar, um, the, the 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 strong bastards and uh, Lena's daughters, they peeped and said, "Oh shit, hold on, somebody done stole Vagar." So now they realize it was his ass, and he coming through the fucking cave like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." A nigga got a dragon now. A nigga got a dragon now. A nigga, oh, a nigga rides dragons now. What's up? And they was like, that's fucked up, cause that's supposed to be my um my dragon. He was like, well, you 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 snooze, you lose, puss asshole. You should have been claimed your dragon. So now they get into a fight. He done punched um sus in the face. So now the strong boys is like, no, nah, we're not gonna sit there, we're not gonna take that. Next thing you know, they all start jumping his ass. I don't know what when did when did Amon, you know what, Sir Kristen been teaching them niggas how to fight. He was teaching them Alison uh Alison kids how to fight. Because I don't know where the fuck them Bruce Lee moves came from where Amon was whooping all they ass. But, you know what I'm saying? The strong boys, they was very clever. One of them threw dirt at, at, on his eye and the other one sliced that shit. I'm talking about like Ratatouille just slicing up shit like we in the kitchen somewhere. So now he got one eyeball. Family meeting. Family meeting. What the fuck is going on? You got Viserys like, what the fuck is going on? We are a family. Viserys, please. Viserys, please. Bring back King Joffrey. B bring back King Joffrey. Bring back King Joffrey. Cause you, you, you is a weak ass king. Like you are, first of all, what the fuck is going on with Viserys? Does he have monkey pox or some shit? What the fuck is going on? Like they got monkey pox in Westeros? During black women's dragon month? This is crazy. So anyway, bitch, he talking about we are a family. What the fuck going on? And the strong boys, they're like, um, Amon called us a bastard. Viserys knew exactly where he got that from. Talking about, who told you that? His mama, bitch. His fucking mama. So here go Amon trying to protect his mama. T talking about, um, um, Aegon said it. Aegon's like, Where did you hear it from? Where did you hear? again? Viser Viserys, please. Viserys, please. Viserys, please. T'en prie. T'en prie. T'en prie. Si c'est pas une bêtise, elle en fait qui m'ont donné. Si c'est pas une bêtise, elle en fait qui m'ont donné. You know where the fuck them niggas heard that shit from? They heard it from their pussy ass mama, your pussy ass wife, your messy ass wife. Okay? 
but still trying to protect their mama. And John was like, come on, baby. The whole, everybody in Westeros, no, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. They daddy a whole nigga Garen. And oh, they over here looking like white lives matter. Like, what, what the fuck is going on? Like, they more Caucasian than me. <laughs> like, can we be sick? Be for real. Be for fucking real. Um, so now Viserys like, listen, we are a family. I don't want to hear about this shit no motherfucking more. The next person that I hear talking shit about this going to get their tongue swiped the fuck out their mouth. So here go Alison. Well, um, that's not enough. My boy don't got an eye. I want one of her son's eye. And he's like, what? What? Rhaenyra's like, what? Everybody's like, what? What? I want one of her son's motherfucking eyes. And then she gonna send Sir Christian to my oh you, Sir Christian, go there and chop up an eye for me and bring it to me right now. Bitch, let me tell you something. Joffrey would never. Joffrey would never. When I tell you Joffrey himself would have had Aegon and Amon drag their mama down to, to Vagar, to Vagar, and have her ass make her barbecue right then and there, King Joffrey would never. Like, before she were even able to finish her sentence, he would have had her tongue cut out, and then he would have been like, all right, y'all boys, drag your mama out to Vagar and have her ass burned to a crisp, burnt to the stake. Okay, burn, let it burn, let it burn, now let it burn. Would have had her ass burning. Okay, um, but no. So now, um, you got her arguing back and forth with Viserys weak ass. Then she gonna grab a knife and charge towards rape, rape. Gonna charge towards rape, rape. So Ray is like, oh, oh. It must have been exhausting, right? Hiding behind your perfect, your, 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 this facade of being perfect. Not everybody sees you for who you really fucking are. And, 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 and Alice, I'm like, who am I? Only the person who, who's trying to follow the rules? Uh-uh, bitch. Nah, bitch. Nah, bitch. Alison, girl, you is not innocent. You is not motherfucking innocent. You and your daddy been on some bullshit from day motherfucking one. Since he had you put on your mama best dress. And had your ass twerking in the motherfucking um king's quarters to, to become wife. Okay? To become queen. Like, please, Alison, please, dump we, dump we, dump we, dump we. So, anyway, now it's a clear divide between the Nigagarians and the Targaryens and Alison and her people. So, what, what else had happened? Oh, Amon was like, um, and I was like, Mom, don't cry for me. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Don't cry for me, Mama, because even though I lost an eye, I gained a dragon. I mean, when I say his whole body different, because he like, bitch, a nigga might be eye eyeballless. <laughs> a nigga might be short one eyeball, but bitch, we got that fire. Bitch, we got that fire. And so now immediately... Ray Ray and Damon knew what they had to do because now they got a dragon. So they need to get more dragons because guess what? All them dragons. What you think all them dragons finna be doing soon, bitch? What you think all them dragons finna be doing soon? It's finna be a song of fire and fire. No ice. Hold the ice. Fire and fire. Okay? So let me know what y'all think about what's, what's going on with, um, bitch. Hold up. How did I feel? How I almost forget this shit. So remember, um, Rhaenyra was like, Damon, let's get together. Like, let's get together so we can sit on the iron throne together. And Damon was like, but girl, how we gonna do this? The only way we do this shit is if your husband died. And she was like, okay, like, let's go ahead and make that work. So now they go ahead and they send, they send Coral to go kill Lenor. Now, how you gonna send his nigga to kill him? Bitch, I was disgusted. But then, lo and behold, behold and lo, <laughs> lo and behold, behold and lo, bitch, it was a scheme that Todd set up to come to us with the bullshit. <laughs> it was a scheme that Todd set up to set up Lenore's escape, bitch. So now, 
like 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 Rhaenyra has said, the sea brings freedom. Bitch, now he can escape by sea with quarrel. Now and, and he chopped off his hair. He's like, girl, I'm gonna go live my best, best gay life. Now he can go suck dick in peace. He ain't gotta worry about being nobody daddy. He ain't gotta worry about sitting on nobody iron thong. He can go sit on dick in peace. And I love that for him because I've sat on dick. Dick is a beautiful thing. So anybody who gets dick, especially good dick, I am very happy for them. And that's why I am very happy for Lenar. Lenor can go ahead and live his best gay life in the East where Arya and them. Um, remember Arya was like, girl, when Arya was done with it, she's girl i'm going to the east bitch the east look lit i'm gone okay so y'all let me know what y'all thought about this review let me know if you guys are watching house 613 aka house dragon <laughs> let me know think about me being, um giving y'all selena's <laughs> i don't know why i was just so turned up for this review like it's a, it's a, i just i feel like i gave y'all a lot but i love this show i love this show next up i need to do uh, Handmaid's Tale. I'm late on that, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you subscribe, like, share my channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. <laughs>